Hello, good morning, and good to see you all here. How is the number one community on YouTube doing? Are you all still number ones? Are things good? Good, good. Well, it certainly is good to see you all back. Welcome aboard. Nice to have you with us. 
Yeah, morning for many people, morning for me, and almost the weekend. Probably the weekend for some of you too. This game looks quite strange, I must say. I don't know how to describe this game. I don't know really anything about it other than that. I think what we're doing is we're playing like a three hour preview demo, but I think the full game is out too. I'm not exactly sure. I'm really confused on a lot of stuff. So I guess just check like Steam or Epic Game Store to learn more about it because they sent me a key and I read about it, but I'm reading it just made me more confused. So I have no idea what to expect except for that. I just see that it's somewhat like uh, Spore in a way. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah, it looks like you, well, I, I don't know. I, I think we should just, I think we should just get into it. Uh, the full game hasn't been released yet. Yeah, I think they gave me a demo code. Sometimes they give me like a full game code and they're like, all right, go ahead and have fun with it, nerd. Let's go ahead and see what this game this is, not is all about. This is story of the world. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, go ahead. everything and making it the same. No. This is the story of the many who are blessed with difference and rich in strangeness. This is the story of a family. Oh, it's a mafia game? Okay. Uh, this game supports autosave and will appear whenever game date is being saved. Please do not turn off your computer while the icon is visible. You can't tell me what to do, Eternal Cylinder. Okay. Is this a horror game? Honestly, I, I, I don't know how to describe this other than... I... Uh, I, I can't. I don't know. I don't know. So we'll just have to check it out together and kind of see what this mess is. Okay. Let's see. Settings. Uh, well, let's make sure motion blur is off if that's a thing. All right. Well, it's got a 10 out of 10 on music. I'll tell you that right now. That is a ten. Of, oh my god, that music though. Hold on, we're gonna listen to that for a second. Console lovers, thanks for becoming a raptor hatchling yet again, dude. Step it up into the realm of greatness. Let's listen to this. This is a bopper right here. This is the song that plays in my mind when Jack gets to 100 likes, or when somebody subscribes, especially since we're almost to a, a big million. Thanks for your support. This music's too good. Alright, so apparently this is the beta version that was released on the 17th of February. But the full game will release soon. I don't even want to leave this menu screen, dude. This music's too good. Oh, well, it was good. Okay. Let me check more settings before we go in. Brightness. Is everything set to like super high? Oh yeah, I guess it doesn't go any higher. Okay. Easy cylinder aggressiveness. Oh, I don't... Okay, so what I gather from this game is like we're on an alien planet and there's this giant like molten cylinder of like hot metal that's just rolling across the planet and crushing everything. We have to not... Um, just like any survival game, it's about not dying to death. Let's go ahead and see what it's all about. Once upon a time, in the age of the Eternal Cylinder, there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebum. Trebum are not the strongest, nor the fastest, and they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. But Trebum are loyal and resourceful, and very, very stubborn. It is with such a trebum that our story begins. One clever little creature born into a cruel world who would be instrumental in bringing prosperity to its kind. He looks like Booster. Huh. Oh yeah, there's the eternal cylinder right there. Run!
What an unfortunate place for a beginning. Oh, we're literally next to the cylinder. Great. Run, something inside him said. Run. Okay, oh, okay. Go, baby. Oh, the cylinder's coming. Oh, damn, it's tipping down all the... Okay, oh, we gotta go. Go, 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 go. Oh, man. This is already awesome. I'm feeling that I'm getting Crash Bandicoot vibes already. Oh boy, it's down the water. We go faster. Oh, can't get out of the water. Go, baby, go, go. Uh oh, where do I go? Where do I go? No! No! Oh, it's destroying everything. The great crushing thing, the great cylinder, had stopped. Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. How quickly <sighs> it learned to use its legs and its trunk. Left click to gather these materials. Were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. Hello, Cricket. Oh. Did you lay an egg? Uh, choose materials you've collected. Number four. Oh, I'm tripping out, y'all. Just when it was starting to get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. With oh. the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. I see. So we can, like, evolve on the fly. Shoot anything from your inventory. Try shooting water at the flying bugs. Okay. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay. I don't know if that's toxic. Let's stay out of there. Uh oh are these Deskitos on the plane? They better not be. So this eternal cylinder is like crushing everything, but why? Can I eat that? Yeah, we gotta be up here. Eat the cylinder? Yeah, good idea. The cylinder is actually the same temperature as the Hot Pocket. Interestingly enough, it's just a giant rolling, rolling Hot Pocket. Can I eat these things? What if I like eat one of these? Yeah, that didn't do anything. What about this? Okay, so that just seems to be food. Well, let's uh, run around and explore, I guess. This looks promising. Uh. The Trebum was drawn to a bright light, or perhaps to the creature next to it. Creature neck. Where? There's a creature here? Where? This thing? Oh, it's marking where I need to go. Oh, what is this? Oh, gee. Sir! Get the hell out of me. Okay, there seems to be a beam of light. Okay, this is kind of like a BR game. So between there and there is the playing area, maybe? Oh, what are all these things? Weird. Okay, let's go to the bright light, I guess. Except for the grass growing on the old one's head, they were very much alike. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Surrounded by this light, Oof. the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. 
and it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. Oh. It could have stayed here to learn many old things, but the cylinder would not allow it. Wow, the cylinder is a, a rude foe, boy. It's rolling, baby. Run, the inner voice said. Run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. Oh, it can stop the tower. I think this is the German voice actor from... Uh... The Trebom had to step on the symbol or the cylinder would not be stopped. Uh, from Company of Heroes? Cool. Alright, chat, watch out for those loading screen tips. You can't get me, Cylinder. Uh-oh. Sir, you better run. Is that teeth? voice inside the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. Weird. This relative tranquility gave the Trebum a chance to think about its family. Trebum are not meant to live alone, so where were the others? Think you mean like big brain? Hmm. Oh, cool. There's like a desert biome too. Let's go up these stairs. This is cool. Music is like a ten out of ten, man. So that thing's gonna attack soon. Oh, there's a village here. How young friend? had found an egg, Ooh. a Trebum egg, with one of his siblings inside. The egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of heat. Let's see, a hot pocket. That would be, that would be helpful. Alright, so hold and release egg. There we go. This looks pretty warm. Yay! A new family member joins the group. Say hello to uh, Garam. Actually, wait, maybe we'll name it after a new member in the chat. I see Jessica B. There you go, Jessica. I'll name it after our members. Oh, by the way, we'll have a giveaway on the Discord too, so for those of you who aren't members, you're gonna miss out too. This is an FYI, if you're a member, jump on that Discord. Alright, where do we go now? Wow, this is beautiful. What a strange looking planet, I love it. Alright, come on Jessica, we gotta go. Is this sap? Oh, we can't pick that up. We probably should go get water. Oh, what's this? Oh, they can come out of their clam. Cool. All right, we got another incubation thing. So there could be more eggs around. Let's get some water. Okay. 
Where to go? Your Trevum is too young to swim across. Watch for the beams of light that come from activated towers. They'll point you to objectives or areas of interest. for the Trevum to know what to do or where to go. Ooh. But the friendly voice suggested this was not the right way. To find your path, it said, you must follow the beam of light that emanates from the tip of the tower and stay away from the deep waters where the old things dwell. Oh, great. There's something in there that'll eat us. How wonderful. Bom, bom, bom. What is this thing? Oh, that looks that looks dangerous. Ooh, that that looks really dangerous. Nope, I'll stay away from that. That reminds me of those plants from Astroneer. No, thank you. Come on, let's roll around. We gotta follow the light from the tower. Okay. Let's see. What is that? Weird. Okay, the light wants us to go that way. Okay. We're gonna go over here. They see me rolling. Hey, this is a pizza roll, guys. In its natural habitat, this is how pizza rolls are made. Name is Pete. Pizza roll. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, that's the other end of it. Oh. Hello, sir. Oh boy, you looking thick. <laughs> And he might want to eat me. No, thank you. Well, looks like we need one more, and then we get to go through the door. Okay. We gotta go find another one. Gotta find another one. Oh, I see another village up there. Come on, Jessica, let's go. Can we get up here? Oh, right here. Finding another Trebum was a cause for joy, but this new friend was not well. He sleeping? Deep inside the memories it had inherited, the Trebum found the answer. To recover, its friend needed a very specific substance, which appeared as glittering clusters of crystal dust. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trebum could create it. And so it was mm. on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Luckily, it seemed a wise and powerful Trebum had passed through here some time ago. This stuff looks interesting. Ooh. All right, nice. Cool. Marco, Marco. Oh, oh, we can talk to him. There you go. And you shall be named. Kindred. Okay. All right, now we can go through that door. It's Qbert. Yeah, it looks like Qbert. You're right, Chad. Faux show. This door had been built for Trebup. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made for them. <laughs> what a jerk.
Uh, enter Elder Cave. All right, let's go. Bum, bum. Yeah, I'll name them after members. The next next time we get to name one, I'll pick a random name out of the chat. Ooh, this music though, dude. Let's take this in for a second. This music has got like 11 out of 10 in this game. It's it's the best. Creepy. Older tap to switch to Trebum. Ah. Oh, I'm named uh, Greg. Yay. Okay. Oh, and they oh they each have their own inventory too. Okay. That's pretty cool. So I should be able to give different foods to the other two to give them different abilities. So that they can do things like roll or jump higher. Cool. Oh, gotta snort that dust. Oh yeah. Wait, what is that thing? Hold on. Let's see if we can eat whatever this is. Ooh, that looks weird. Oh, that looks like it's water. So some of these are just food and water. Some things will make us transform. Okay. That's cool. Where's the other one? Uh-oh. Hey, where'd the other one go? Oh. There. Yeah, it looks like a two-legged elephant, for sure. That is that is true. Okay, let's go through here. Ooh. Somehow oh. this ancient statue transferred knowledge to the Tremor. That literally just looks like a cube of, uh, like a pound of hamburger. A rare organic growth found near certain ancient Trebum structures, most likely artificial in origin. Gloom root. Oh wow, it tells you everything. Gives you food, gives you water. The hop 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 a pod. The The Bob La 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 Blog. Okay. Alright, that's cool. So we can get we can either get food or water or it transform. Was as if a memory had been stored inside it. Waiting for someone to absorb it. Chewed and as water. soon as this knowledge had entered their minds, the Trebum realized that there was a great library of information hidden away in the web of their memories. But why was the knowledge of a specific ingredient placed here in this Trebum made of stone? Oh. <laughs> Cuboid body allows Trebum to enter special openings in certain sacred places and unlocks ancient mechanisms. Oh. Wow, now we're now we're a cube. What the hell? Okay. Get more water too. Maybe we both need to be a cube. Okay, let's do another cube. Let's go back here. Ah. 
Hello, Elder. Are you a box elder? Inside the cave, the Trebum found a living elder. It had been waiting in this chamber for a long, long time. The elder told them it was happy to see some friends before the cylinder came. It said, you are young, so you never knew the time when our people could shapeshift at will. We, Trebum, are inheritors of a vast tree of abilities. Abilities passed on to all future Trebum. But this power is being taken away. Beware the servants of the Cylinder. They will seek to hurt you at every opportunity, and they have the power to rob you of your abilities. But if you persevere, we can become a one car. day you will find a way to protect yourselves from their evil light. Farewell, my brave friends. I fear I am too old and tired to join you. May you find a way to prosper in this time of struggles. We can become a car. You gotta be kidding me. This is awesome. Uh, okay, we came in from there, so let's go out this way. The Pringles cylinder, yes. A gi someone dropped a giant cylinder of Pringles on the floor. And we're trying to escape. It was oh. not easy to leave the cave, but the Elder had urged them to go forward. Suddenly, they felt the weight of their many tasks. To find their Trebum siblings. To restore the powers their people had lost. And it all seemed a little daunting. But even when they are afraid, Trebum are stubborn. Alright, let's get out of here. This music, dude, is so good. So good, I love this. All right, the tower should tell us where to go next. Oh, this is cool looking. What is this? Looks like some sort of a dead tree. Oh, we're on the other side of the water. Okay. The cave's got us through the water. Awakening the cylinder. Exiting the blue energy dome that radiates from the tower activated awakens the cylinder. Warning, not all towers have the same radius protection. Some may be weaker. Hello. Good goodbye. Whoa. What the hell? What are you guys doing? Get away from them. Get over here. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, the, the cylinder cylinder's mad. Resumed its destruction. It has been nothing could stop it forever. The pocket is hot. They needed to roll to safety to find another tower to protect them quickly. God, I hope your AI pathing is smart. No, where's the third one? No! Where? Damn the AI! Oh, we gotta go. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Lodi, he coming. Oh, boy.
This thing is just rolling out and making like a giant Walmart parking lot. This is just the uh, Walmart Corporation. They're just making a parking lot, that's all. What the hell is that? Oh, this music is so good. The Trevum found themselves almost as lost as they had been in the beginning. But the voice and their memories comforted them. It was only natural to be confused, it said. They had been born into a strange, broken world, cut off from the history of their ancestors. Everyone was a little lost these days. What mattered was to keep going, to keep looking for answers, to keep carrying the light they held within them, the light that stopped the cylinder. Oh, let's go inside. Whew. That was uh, intense. In this strange, eerie temple, the Trebum felt something stir in their memories. There was a great power in this place. Something from the days when even the elders were young. Perhaps it could help them. Hmm. What could it be? Yeah, the game looks really cool. Weird game. What is this? Is that a giant pineapple? Grow a patch of grass like hair which attracts sack flies. Hello? Jessica, let's give you a pineapple. So weird. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of, uh, what was that, uh, snack game? Uh, what was it, uh, the... Bug snacks. It really reminds me of bug snacks. It's kind of like a combination of bug snacks meets like Abe's Odyssey. Like the grittiness reminds me of Odd World. Kind of cool. All oh, this music though is so good. Uh, objectives. Perhaps it could be them. There was a great power in this place. Something from the days when even the elders were. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Um. So the map is telling us to go there. So we've got to go up this way. Okay. The Trebum were disoriented for a moment. Something new had entered their memories and they needed to make sense of it. It seemed to be a map. And on this map, a location had been marked. If they understood correctly, there was some manner of serpent, a guardian, a greater being of some kind somehow linked to a safe haven. Could they find refuge there? Their ancestors must have created this map for a reason. I don't know about that, but we'll see. Let's get out of here. What's up, Jerry? Welcome back, dude. Yeah, kind of like Spore. I... I don't know, it's like Spore, except instead of building a civilization, we're trying to, like, survive the destruction of one. 
What the hell what is that? What manner of strange beast lurked behind the cylinder? The Trebum were deeply unsettled by this new mystery. Is that a Metal Gear? But though some part of them was curious, they were certain it would be best not to find out. I think that's the paver for the Walmart. That's putting down the, the new parking lot. Right, let's get out of here. So we're supposed to go this way? Oh, if we do that, that thing's going to pop off. Is there a way to see the map? Oh. We have another incubator. But I don't see any eggs. There's got to be like a village around here somewhere. That building looks interesting over there. Oh, look how he keeps his nose up out of the uh, water. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, there's like these weird towers. Okay, let's go investigate these. Yeah, built-in snorkel. What is that? <laughs> I think it's dead. Oh, here's a temple here. Some sort of a door. Oh, it looks broken. Darn. Cool, it's a new biome. Yeah, the music is really good. Oh, is that like a level of stealth? Can we like hide in here? Wait. Oh, the thing was like dropping little pine cones or something. Oh, it's just a giant plant. Well, somebody's angry. Run! <laughs> what? 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 Uh, what? No, she's fine. We just can't be down here in the toxicity. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know I was running. I guess. Oops. Wait, let's see if there's an auto save. Wait, is there an auto save? I'll just load that. Oh, six seconds ago? Great. <laughs> I didn't know that you could fall into giant toxic pits. Oops. Oh, great. Great auto save. Yeah. Yeah, put me at the bottom of the uh, toxic pit. Yeah, good, good, good idea. We must be able to go down here later. see if we can save before then like right when we came out of the temple I don't want to lose nobody I don't want to leave anybody behind if we can't we can't help it okay what manner of strange beast which way do we go the, the Trebum were deeply unsettled come by here you two mystery. but though some part of them was curious 
they were certain it would be best not to find out. I need to be able to see the map. Oh, if you hold Z, you just like roll. Is this like a sneak mode? Weird. Bomb, 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 bomb. Yeah, I don't know why, uh. I don't know why Andrew's thingy didn't come with us. The other two were just fine. I uh, probably got glitched out on the wall. I don't know. Alright, which way do we go, tower? It showed us a map, but... I'm, I'm not sure which way to go from the t uh, temple. I thought it was this way over here. Is there, like, no way out if you fall in these pits? It's kind of uh, inconvenient, isn't it? Oh, here's the way out. Oh! Do these mushrooms... Oh, okay, they bounce you out of here. So that's the way out. Also, I like how it says your character has died, but... You can revive them so they're not really dead. Okay, so now we know there's a way out of there. I wonder if there's commands to tell the other ones to stay behind. <laughs> Game over, lol. <laughs> okay, so now we know there's a way out of the green pits, but if everybody goes down there, it's a tough recovery operation. This is really reminding me of Oddworld. Okay. Oh, and I can't go back in to view the map? I want to view the what map, bro. Of strange beast lurk behind the cylinder. I want. I want. I want to. The were deeply. I want to look at the map. This new mystery. But though some part of them was. All right, curious, come on, you two. Let's go for real. They were certain it would be best not to find out. Yeah, all right. Let's find out where we're going here. New member, welcome. Let's see if these ones are smart enough to come along. Good, they are smart. Good. Bah, bah, bah. Andrew with the five, you're happy to sacrifice yourself for Raptor. <laughs> happy Friday, everybody. Hey, welcome to all the new members and subscribers. You guys are awesome. All right, let's find out where to go, and also if we can find some more eggs too. I'm happy to sacrifice myself for Raptor. Happy Friday, everyone. Smiley face. Smiley face. I think we have to go the other way. Oh. oh, the music's so good. Oh, what do we have here? What is this? It's like an elevator? What is this? Oh, there's a... Is that a chest? Cool. Hard shells. Some ingredients cannot be eaten until the edible interiors have been exposed. There are multiple ways to break open ingredients. Try experimenting with throwing them, crushing them, or feeding them to another creature. Items with a breakable exterior are marked with a yellow border in the inventory. Oh. Oh, looks like we have one already in our inventory. Alright, let's try throwing this one on the ground and see what happens. Let's go to the other one. Let's see if we can throw this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. Uh, let's give that to our other character.
What's up, bro? Oh, we need to hydrate. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe someone else can share some water. Well, let's get out of here, go hydrate, and figure out how to use those other ones. Unless... Dear God, only one of them can get out at a time. It's like we're in a pit already. Can you other two get up here? Here, let's give you this. What happens if we do this? Plated body. Oh. Now we're like uh, armored. Sweet. Thing moves fast and slow at the same time. Wait, why are they not staying on the elevator? Oh, they all keep jumping off the elevator. Maybe if I jump off... Maybe if I get out of here... Maybe they'll teleport out of here or something. It's like getting everybody out of here via the elevator is taking way too long. Let's see if they'll teleport. Let's go find some water. What? Game over? What do you mean game over? I had two... I have two characters left. Do we have to keep the main dude alive? Also, I guess we hydrated to death. Okay, let's get this again. We'll be quick about it. Okay, drop those ones. Alright, where'd the special seed go? Yeah, I guess they teleport to us, but... I didn't know that. All right, let's get out of here. Now we got everything we need. So you got to kind of babysit them a little bit, but not really. Nice. The elevator is probably a bad idea. It should just make like a little ramp or something. Oh, there's more stuff down there too. Let's go get that. I don't want to leave it behind. All right, let's go find out what happens now when we get the cylinder to move again. Yeah, the game looks really cool. Oh, the jump is shorter because of the armor plating. Ah. We kind of look like a Koopa Troopa now. With fuzzy hair.
bom, 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 bom. There we go. Okay, let's try to drop this thing. Ooh. up one of these. Mm, that doesn't work either. Okay, we gotta figure out a way to break this shell. Let's go find some water. So there's an incubator there. So there's probably also an egg that we can find too. Yeah, there's that one creature walking around with, like, the giant teeth. That might be a good one to throw to him. I think he's over here. I'm also kind of getting, like, No Man's Sky vibes for, like, how the ground looks. Like, No Man's Sky, it seems like all the planets are, like, red or purple or, like, some sort of a rusty color. That looks interesting. Oh, that's that thing that tries to crush you when it flies around. There's another incubator. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's really cold. Hmm. Alright, that's what we're looking for. All right, let's see if we can feed him to this guy. I guess he didn't care. Oh, I thought this was a desert biome. Apparently it's winter. It's cold. Okay, go, go for that seed, bro. Do you not want the seed? Oh, he got it. He broke it. Let's get out of here. Ooh, okay. Let's try this. Oh, it's just another armored shell. Okay. That's still good. If we go back into a temple, there'll probably be more cubes. Uh oh. I'm not sure exactly where we should go next. Looks like this was a temple, though, but it was destroyed. Yeah, it looks like Cuber, doesn't it? Well, I guess maybe we should go through to the next area. If we missed anything, we can always come back. I think we went to where we had to go, though. Uh-oh. The Hot Pocket has been angered. Oh, watch. It's going to destroy the pyramid. No, no, no. Not that. Oh, no. Not this crap. Bro. Uh-oh. Stop rolling and start jumping. Oh my goodness. No! 
Wow, those pits are not easy to see. No, we can go back in another playthrough is what I mean. I wish characters just wouldn't uh, die like that. Eh, that's fine. What? Oh, now we gotta worry about hunger. Oh, now, now it implements a new stat. Why all of a sudden does it give us a new stat, though? As their fear faded, the Trebum started feeling weak and tired. With all the excitement and adventure, they'd neglected their most basic needs. The sound of an empty stomach reminded them that survival requires more than escaping from danger. You also have to eat. Mineral processor? Luckily, one of the many gifts of the Trebum is the capacity to store food in their bodies. But they still need to digest it to gain the vital energy that gives them strength. And for such small creatures, they do require rather a lot of food. Fortunately, food. the savannah was rich in flora and fauna, which would satisfy their little bellies without necessarily triggering a mutation. Hmm. Wow, it looks like he's got a spaghetti brain. Mineral processor mutation, constantly refining minerals. Be mindful of what you absorb. Trebum body will automatically process any minerals stored inside it. Weird. Ma, 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 ma. Well, it looks like there's two locations to go to over here. If the cylinder is crushing everything on the ground, wouldn't it, anything be under, underground just be safe? Like, it seems like anybody who happened to fall into like a mild pit would be alright. Uh, what? Who is this? Oh. How do we get you out of there? If we give him four mushrooms, he'll give us... Alright, maybe he'll come out if we give him the mushrooms? Wait, what, what kind did he want? Those chanterelle looking things, okay. Yeah, definitely some spore vibes. Definitely like, anxiety and panic inducing too in this game with like trying to escape and navigate the landscape. Some things can be hard to see. Especially since you want to travel quickly. It's all good though. Well, I guess we'll get some water. Cool, there's a day-night cycle too. Okay, now we got the water. I think we should give everybody spring legs. Yeah, we need these legs for like rolling and jumping better. Water processor. Ah, the water processor mutation constantly processing ingredients found in its inventory slots. The Trebum were excited by this discovery. This new mutation would allow Ooh. them to extract water from ingredients bum, bum, bum. that were otherwise quite dry. But the bum, voice bum. cautioned them to be careful. More water was useful, but this process would not extract any nutrients. They would have to use it carefully and wisely. Interesting. Oh, we're learning quite a bit.
So we can now extract water from ingredients. That's cool. So we don't have to worry so much about water. Let's go find one of those... Um... There, that's what we want. There we go. Oh, no, no. Hey, that was mine, jerk. I'll just take this one. Wow, oh, we need better legs. Nice. Sorry, we have to take out some trash. There we go. Alright, we need to find some uh, flat looking mushrooms and return to this guy. We found an egg, though. Okay, we need to find an incubator. Oh, there's another pit there with more mutations and stuff in it. Oh, there's so much to see. There we go. Okay, I think we need four. Let's do this first, then we'll see if we can hatch a new uh, person. Oh wow, a lot of those little cricket things there. Neat. Oh yeah, the music is definitely 10 out of 10. It's a weird creepy vibe and I like it. Let's see. Well, let's start eating food. Clear up some inventory. Oh, I think we found the last of the mushrooms we needed. There we go. Okay, let's go back with the, um... Where's that guy? I think it's over here. Oh, and then we gotta hatch that egg, too. Oh, man. So much to do. give you these. Ah, there we go. Wait, where'd he go? Wasn't he inside the house? Where'd he go? Okay. Ooh, what does this thing do? Uh, let's you make a sound that will startle or frighten predators. Okay. Cool. Hmm. 
I don't know where to go with the uh, with the egg. Oh wow, it sounds like a like a some sort of an anti-tank gun on like an A10. All right, lunchtime. Oh, the house is a good place to hatch it. Okay, I was looking for an incubator, but okay, let's bring the egg over there. Grab some more. Grab some more stuff for lunch. I thought there was somebody in the house. There's this pit over here too. All right, the house is a good idea. Now we just got to find where the egg went. Did it respawn back at the nest? There it is. All right, let's go back to the house. Thankfully, you can see the house with like the giant smoke. Sacrifice the egg to appease the cylinder. Hey, wait a minute. That sounds like something the cylinder would say. I feel like getting too many of these things means we're going to do like a... It's like Pikmin or something like that. It's going to be like a lot of micromanaging. Is this working? Maybe we can plug the hole or something. Oh, I see. It's like a light or something. So they lit a little fire at the top for the light, but if we put this in the chimney, maybe it'll work? See what happens if we hold it here. Hmm, that doesn't seem to work. Oh, I just had to right click. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Well, we can't fit the whole name, but close enough. All right. Yeah, we'll try to name them after all our members. We'll get some more. We'll get Indrid and Andrew back. It seems these creatures never die. They're just always reborn. They don't die. It looks like they regroup. Like Marines. Okay, where should we go next? This looked interesting. Alright, I'm starting to get the feel for this game. The more I play it, the more I'm like, okay, this is... Pretty cool. I did like what it started as. Well, let's eat some more. Lunch time. Alright. Alright, how do we operate this? Hmm, I don't think we climb it. Let's go get some water. And then see if there's anywhere else to go. We gotta go down there. But we gotta find some agua. 
<laughs> yeah, we're we're a little bit Kirby. There's a little bit Kirby in here. Okay. Oh, we gotta get you some mutations too. You gotta like upgrade every one of your little characters. It's crazy. Okay, let's go into that pit first. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. Let's get you upgraded. Ooh, what if we eat more than one? Probably can only just eat the one. Oh, we got another friend down here. We got another person. Man, at this point we should have like what? I think we should have four, five, six of these guys. Oh, we need like a full mineral? right corner we need to make a full mineral hmm oh there's another one to break oh health water and food nice There's water down here as well. See, at this point, we could just stay down here safely. The cylinder can't get to us. We're fine. Then again, I guess, if you survive the cylinder, whatever is back there would get you next. Oh, create light in the darkness. Cool. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Bum, bum. Let's give some to Rick. Oh, he's already got all these other ones. Yeah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Now we made a full mineral. So these guys need like a full mineral. Ah. And that'll process if we keep it in the inventory. Good, good. What a weird game. If you don't understand this game or if you don't know what's going on or whatnot, uh, good seems like you're supposed well like they say in the beginning you're kind of supposed to be confused you just barely make it by okay let's go back to uh, one of our new ones one of our new homies hello there you go Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Gordon. Cool. 
Let's get you some legs too, Gordon. This is a good spot because it's like, if you don't have anybody upgraded with legs, you can get some extra legs here. Wait, where's our fourth character? Man, these guys end up getting all sorts of places. Is he down here? Nice. Okay. So let's get out of here. I don't know where the other ones went. Can't don't they just teleport if we leave? Oh, there he is. Okay. You're new here, what's up with all the backseat driving? The backseaters want you to know that they know what they know, but nobody really knows what anybody knows. So typically we ignore it, or I do the opposite so I can discover stuff myself. If we have a specific question in chat, we'll definitely ask, and then if anybody has the answer, then you can answer it, but... Like, uh, we, we call them loading screen tips, like... Uh, eating helps you not to starve. Uh, shooting the enemy first helps them to not cause damage, like that type of thing. It's like... So the more backseating there is, we, we usually do the opposite. Because Chad likes to see... what happens when they get irritated. It's kind of funny. Let's figure out what these things do. Is there a way to get up this thing? Oh wait, what's this thing? Oh, there's like a thing here. Come on, man, don't... That's really annoying. Alright, we'll get a full mineral and heal that person up. Alright, hold on just a second. Let's see... Okay. The Trebum felt a great power flowing through this cave, but they were not afraid. The power felt glowing structures were the work of their ancestors. Yeah, if we get more, we can go back and save him now that we got enough minerals. We just had to get these minerals. Uh, water storage. Oh, you can spend minerals to upgrade stuff. Oh. Increase your maximum water storage capacity. Okay. Increase your maximum digested food storage capacity. Okay. Increase 
Increase maximum health. Oh, we need that for like literally one just getting squashed at random. Increase the size of the stamina wheel. What is this one? Uh, increase the maximum number of Trebum who can join your family. Required one, current 1 1.8. Um, well, let's go and see how many uh, minerals we can get. I like the idea of getting um, like a higher water capacity. Let's see. Did we get all the crystals? I hope so. Is there more up here? Yeah, it looks like it's just a cave. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna save for a better upgrade though. Let's go see if we can save the person outside. Seems like you can so long as they don't get crushed by the, the cylinder. Alright, now there was somebody down out here. Oh, so the enemy stays there, but not the uh, person who's basically wounded. And can be revived. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, eventually the cylinder rolls forward and we have to move to a new area. But new er each area kind of has its own theme. Okay, there was another one of those, wasn't there? Or was it just that one? Oh, there it is. Something over there. Uh, yeah, we got uh, new member giveaways for anybody who clicks or taps join. There should be uh, lots of keys and stuff on the Discord if you want to become a member. Lots and lots of giveaways. It's a little perk for all the people who support the channel. Oh, I thought I saw a beam coming over here. Worth a look, though. Hmm. Alright, let's go find a water source again, and then we'll go to a new area. Yeah, it looks like it does look like No Man's Sky in a way. I was saying that earlier too, like the ground kind of reminds me of it. Okay, there's water around here. Oh, what is that thing? What is this? Uh oh, not this crap again. That guy's basically a Deskito. Hello. Oh God, get out of there! Wow. No oh, he's he's like the uh, bone mass. From Valheim, he just crushes. Did we lose anybody? Where's our other person? So hard to keep track of anybody. Well, let's see what this does. Oh, it's just food. Amphibian. 
It keeps swimming as long as it likes. Ooh. What is that blue thing? What does this do? Oh, that's just food. Yeah, your creatures kind of get separated too easy, and then it's hard to know. I didn't see a notice for anybody dying. It's hard to tell when somebody's, like, dead or... Okay, let's do this. Let's have you drop one of these. It's a key point of the game to keep everybody alive, but some of the AI... Gimmicks, like, for example, getting separated and having them teleport. Like, when you try to find them, that's when they teleport. But then when you want them to teleport, they don't. And then they just get crushed and stuff like that. Oh. Storage body. Allows the Trevum to store larger number of objects collected via the trunk. Well, that's good. Alright, we got our food mule now. If he died, though, isn't there a way just to revive him? Like, where... Oh... Okay, that's all the stuff that he dropped. Okay. Yeah, those creatures are the worst. Those flying guys are so annoying because you're trying to fly around and explore and they're just annoying. Oh well, at least we've seen plenty of mutations. So I guess there's some super optimized combos in this game, like you could get the fish and then get this guy to also process water and stuff, and make for quite a large community. Alright, food looks good to go. Yeah, those guys are the worst. They just, they're very fast. And then when they plop down, there's also a toxic thing around them. Kind of annoying. All right, let's do some more running. Hot pocket activated. I don't trust the AI at this point. One. What was this strange being? What the half hell? Half flesh, half metal. The Trebum felt an old, distant horror, as if they remembered their own destruction. Something about this creature was very, very wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Perhaps the creature would wake up with a loud noise. Okay, bye. Well, that's a hit and run right there. Someone call the cops. 
trap oh, giant hand. on all sides by deep pools of poisonous gas. The Trebum needed to find a way to escape this monstrosity. Perhaps there was a way to use the creature's own weight to lower the bridge? Mm -hmm. One by one, the yellow light cruelly burned away the Trebum's abilities. Oh, the Elder had warned them about the evil light of the Cylinder's servants. Now they knew what kind of creature to avoid. Oh, the light takes away all your abilities, so everything we gained up to this point would have been lost anyway. Interesting. So it was kind of like a tutorial area. Now we start from scratch. Hmm. Okay, that was kind of cool. Oh, I hate those guys, though. They detect you. It's like the swamp creatures in Belheim. They detect you from a far way away. What are you watching? Oh, one of the best streams on YouTube with one of the number one communities. All our members and regular subscribers are fantastic. And we're happy you're here. So welcome aboard. Oh, this is our water maker. I need one of those. Good. Okay, that's just regular food. Yeah, this game's weird. It's like bug snacks meets, um... Like a little bit of No Man's Sky and stuff. It seems like everything on the opposite side of the cylinder is taking... It seems like everything that goes onto the other side of the cylinder goes from being a um, organic to like a, some sort of a mixed mash of mechanical. Like that creature there is like a car part organic. Like it's trying to make everything mechanical, but it's this weird transformation process of... Organic to uh, mechanical, it's really weird. Okay, we gotta find some more ingredients before we demutate again. Let's see if we can keep this guy away. Nope, only pissed him off. Oh no. Looks like it worked. I wonder if there's more eggs around here. They seem to be hard to find.
Oh, I can see the rules around the cylinder changing. Like, right now it only moves when we get to a certain blue area. But in the future, I'm sure, uh... I'm sure there'll be more... ...rules around it. <laughs> that moment when you're backseating, but you miss the point. You missed the part where the YouTuber already did the thing that you're telling the YouTuber about. YouTuber. I wonder if we can roll through the... Oh, it's like a dead end. I don't think we can roll through these. Oh, this YouTuber sucks. Mom, where's my... Ah, uh, yes. Oh, we should be able to roll through there. That'd be cool. Oh, using the horn doesn't work. Oh, you have to be on one. I see. Okay. I don't know if there's any more eggs around. I'm sure there are some. It seems like the more creatures we have on our side, the uh, worse it is. What is that thing? Okay, so in anything with green on it looks to be poisonous and that it'll attack us like that bug, too. It looks like those are predators we should stay away from. Man, you get so hungry quickly in this game. It's crazy. Let's go to the next area. Seems like the territory we got across is getting bigger. Hot pocket, it's rolling. Dino Dollar could be working. Oh, great. That's great. Well, that was close. Oof. Mind. We gotta keep running. The cylinder roared with fury. No, nope, no, nope, the voice no, no, of their no, memory no, no. spoke with great urgency. No. The Trebum had to be very careful now. Stop rolling. The cylinder would lash out at the land, but it would not let them run too far. To survive they would have to stay in the eye of the storm. God, those pits are so annoying, dude. They're so hard to get out of them. And there's like little blue mushrooms, but they're annoying. Alright, let's go again. The cylinder roared with fury. The voice in their memories spoke with great urgency. The Trebum had to be very careful now. 
The cylinder would lash out at the land, but it would not let them run too far. To survive, they would have to stay in the eye of the storm. So we're not supposed to not supposed to go too far. Changing its tactics now. That is one hot pocket. Wait till he gets here. Ooh, we're close to a giveaway today, boys. We're getting there. Uh, if we get too far away from it, it'll probably hit us with lightning and we'll get zapped. So we're just going to wait here until it stops. Just to make sure. Coming. Whew. That's like a hardcore as bug snacks. As frightening and surprising as this enormous creature was, the Trebum felt a sense of relief to see it descend from the sky. This was a celestial being they'd been told to seek. Perhaps it held an answer to their troubles. Oh, something's coming out of like a rift? Ah, filters toxic fumes allowing Trebum to safely explore areas full of poisonous gas. Thank God. Here, you take one. Oh, yeah, we need that. Okay, good. All right, let's find some food. Yeah.
As they approached the colossal creature, their optimism faded. It did not seem to like them at all. And now they realized what terrible danger they were in. If this creature guarded the way to some holy place, then that place must lie below it. And being so large, the creature most likely could not see what was in front of it or beneath it. So perhaps the size of the Trebom was an advantage after all. Perhaps they could reach the platform right under the serpent's head. Mm. I think we have to go down there. Wow, we keep eating, but it's like not enough. All right, this seems right. If anybody's actually watching the stream, are they? Looks like we're supposed to go over there. Well, this is red now, so I don't think we can leave this area. Revival Shrine. These special runes scattered around the world allow you to store or revive fellow Trebum. Storing Trebum can be useful if you reach the maximum party limit, but would like to call upon some of the Trebum during a later state of adventure. Reviving lost tre Trebum comes at a cost. The cost is based on how many mutations the Trebum had. Oh. I see. So we can make like a super really like unique one and then put it in storage so we don't lose it. That's pretty cool. When the Trebum stepped ah, on they're, the they're still alive. Device, an ancient memory came back to them. A memory of long ago, when the cities of their people still stood, and the fight against the cylinder was not yet lost. In those days, a very smart Trebum had found a way of cheating the cylinder of stealing a little bit of its power to absorb and to reshape. In this way, the Trebum could revive their fallen friends or send others to a hidden place. And it was also by this device that a link had been forged and a path had been opened to the voice that spoke within them. So it doesn't really seem like they died, more like they're just lost. Okay, how do we get these guys back?
Okay, we need more minerals, but okay, that's a way to get all your people back. But that's kind of a pain in the neck because sometimes, uh, man, sometimes the AI will just do something dumb and then you'll lose it and then you, then you have to like pay money basically. Oh, but all right, but at least that's pretty cool. So every trepum that you find, you can definitely get back, and so long as you have the minerals, you can always bring them back. That's cool. Well, let's go see if we can find some minerals and more trebum then. And we can only have a certain party size. So it's more like instead of them being dead, it's just like they're just saved in the cloud. And in order to, like, load them, you have to pay money. So they're not actually dead. If you can bring them back. It's like loading a game, like a save, like we're loading a save. Interesting. Yeah, the narrator's cool. Look, guys, it's the Desquitos of the planes. Okay, where should we go now? We went over there to the save point. Yeah, like for example, if the AI is too slow and gets eaten by one of those guys, you can reload them, but then it's just like... It's more of an annoyance feed than it is like a unique challenge. Save this fourth one. We'll leave you there. Okay, we'll try to get a fourth one then. Finally, we found another elder cave. Whew. Relieved at having best of the guardian. The Trebum now found themselves seeking the help they had been promised. Who would answer their questions in this place? Oh. We need somebody with a glow stick. Just do one so that way if they die they're more affordable to bring back. Oh good, lots of minerals. Ba -ba -ba.
Yay. Cool, now we got four. And a fifth one outside with that egg if we hatch it. Weird, this area is, it looks like toxic or something, but we're not taking any damage because we don't have that, like, filter snout. I guess just mist. That's glowing green because of the uh, plants nearby. These things. Hmm, what are these? All more minerals. If we have a mineral processor, we should be able to get more of those. Yeah, I'm naming them after our members. It's pretty funny. Are we just going in a circle? Hmm. Yeah, there's those stairs again. There's gotta be a way out of here. Oh, wait. This is different. Okay, bye. can actually see even with the light the maze was difficult to traverse was hmm. there some clue in the structures on the walls was the path of sand on the ground meant to help them perhaps others had walked in this place long ago and tried to leave a path for those who would one day follow them Okay, so we walked in this way. And then I jumped off over there because I heard like a noise. So the Jeez, I wonder I wonder what these triangles mean. Does anyone in chat want to elaborate with a large uh paragraphal statement elaborating further? We have to follow the large arrows on the wall to exit the maze. Hmm. So, Chad, does this mean we have to take a left? Okay, I think we need to go left here, right? Oh, we were supposed to go right. Oh, man. Someone should have elaborated on that in the chat. Yeah, I think we have to go right here. Okay, there we go. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Is that a frog? That frog is just lounging like, Hey, what's up? Brian D, thanks for becoming a member, man. Alright, someone's gotta become a cube.
we need a square. How do I get somebody to transform into a square? Oh, it could give them better legs. We gotta find that weird organic cube. But where? Is that it up there? What is that thing? Third eye. Using this mutation to look for specific ingredients by tagging them in the compendium. Ah, cool. So it's like a radar, basically. Of all the changes that Trebum were experiencing, growing a third eye was the strangest one yet. To make things even stranger, this eye seemed to look in two directions at once. Into the world and into their memories. They could use it to find in the real world any element that was contained in the web of their memories. It was truly a remarkable mutation. Yeah, resource scanner. Well then, let's see if we can find the thing that'll turn us into a cube. It also seems to like give a heartbeat if you're getting closer to it. Oh, that's gonna that sucks. Eating a lot of shrooms opens the uh, third eye. Yeah, it's apparently so. Also, I see there's a lot of eyes in chat as well, so don't be afraid to say hello. Now oh, we can't mutate anymore. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, he can perform a high jump out of the water. Oh, good. We need this. Hi, right, boys. I'm going ahead alone. Well, I don't see the meat cube anywhere, Chad. It must, it must be a glitch. Probably an early access game bug. I just... I don't see it anywhere. Oh well. I guess we'll take it a, a sip and we'll just have to press F8 to give feedback. They should, they should make it easier to find. Like it'd be really easy to find if it were just like on the screen right now. It'd be a no-brainer. You'd be able to easily see it. Oh well. Must be broken. Hmm. 
Oh, wait. I think I see it. Ah, my mistake. Jeez, that's embarrassing. This kind of reminds me of Pikmin a little bit. There's definitely some uh, Apes Exodus vibes to this, or Apes Odyssey, plus Pikmin, plus a few other games, too. I think you could bypass that whole thing if you want to. Whoa, somebody thick. You had a lot of Taco Bell and Wendy's, maybe some pizza rolls and Hot Pockets. Wow. You are a, a, a big, big, big boy. Q-Bird has let himself go. That is, that is thick. Unless there's a brain in there, and that's a pretty XL brain right there. Let's interact. Encountering another elder was a happy moment. The Trevor asked how they might survive the cylinder. And the elder replied, I can lol. feel your fear, little one. He just says lol. Ever since this cataclysm began, we have been seeking ways to stop it. But the cylinder is relentless and indestructible. It will consume everything in its path. So, perhaps what we need to do is go behind it. I have discovered a mutation that allows us to rise into the sky. You must seek a weeping tree from which grows a special fruit that floats as it becomes ripe. It is the key to the transformation I have undergone. Wow. With it, you can use geysers to float well above the cylinder's height. Oh. My only regret is that I have grown too old and weak to help you with this task. If you find any glimmer of hope on the other side, remember me. Farewell. So we're going to go behind enemy lines now and go behind the cylinder and see what's going on behind it. Oh, dude, this is sweet. All right, bro. Well. Wait, wait. Before we go over there. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh boy, oh he thick. Um Do I jump on your nose or what do you Oh I guess we go down here. Sadness and fear filled the Trebum's hearts as they left the Elder's cave. Their only path to salvation was full of uncertainty. And they could not forget the thing they had seen lurking behind the cylinder, casting a dark shadow over this glimpse of light. No, Chad, it don't go down. It don't go down. Oh, the cylinder's gonna be mad. You're going to be so mad. The Trebum had never seen this mysterious tree the Elder spoke of. They would have to keep moving forward and hope it lay somewhere ahead. The cylinder would give them no other choice. Well, I guess we got to go ahead. Well, there's that one egg by the door, but... I mean, I guess 
you could try to rescue every Trebum in the game, but that would be pointless because you can only store so many anyway. Or have so many in your party, so it's just a good idea to have party maximum based on how many minerals you found. Alright, we better get running. Alright, boys, let's go. Yeah, if anybody get crushed, we just revive them. So it's not a big deal. It's part of the game. See that line? I was running for this one. So we're looking for a strange tree. Oh, I think this is too far. Oh, we did. We are so dead. This, this is fine. Andrew's fine. What? I mean, I, I was, I was still rolling, but okay. I should have went to the first tower. It looks like we didn't even have to stop at that first tower, aside from just keep running. Okay, let's go to our fast boy. Oh, let's go to that tower there. Who's the one with our fishy legs? Wait, who had the amphibious legs? Maybe I replaced the legs. We gotta get fish legs to get to that tower there. Otherwise it's too far away. Andrew? Doesn't let me switch to him, though. There we go. Oh, he's not even that much faster. What the heck? What the hell was that?
Did he drown? I thought the amphibious ones can swim forever. He was the first one to drown. Oh, we've noticed you have amphibious legs. Yes, you're drowned now. What? Well, let's get to that tower. Maybe the cylinder got too close. Maybe it comes down to energy. I just don't see the energy bar. Yeah, swimming does take stamina, but if we're f if we're playing with this character, this one has amphibious legs. Apparently, see the little flippers on his feet. I thought the bonus to that was that they could swim however long they wanted without. Cost to stamina. Ah, we'll just go around. We'll take Rick with the springy legs. I'm well aware of the multiple ways to go, chat. Instead of backseating, click and tap join and become a member. Maybe you could win a game on our Discord. That would be much more productive for you and me. I have plenty of games to give away on our Discord, so if you haven't become a member, smash that join button. Giving away games like Hydroneer, Factorio, Satisfactory, and uh, Hydroneer will soon have multiplayer. Well, what are you waiting for? You know what you could do? You know what you should do? You oh, All you have to do is click or tap join. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do is if you want to become a member, you just, you just gotta, just all you gotta do, just all, just all you gotta do is you, you just, all you have to do is become a member. That's all you gotta do. Just become a member by becoming a member. That's all you gotta do. Don't worry, the, the members will uh, the members will teach you. Members, you wanna do a little backseating? Let them know what they need to do to become a member. Alright, so that tower shouldn't collapse this time. But, I think we still need to keep going to a different area. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. They were still nowhere near the mysterious tree they were supposed to find. But the voice and their memories encouraged What is that? Them. It was wise in matters of root and rock, and it could sense the soil under their feet changing. Step by step, they were getting closer. Uh, join a band called the Backseat Boys. Yeah. Yeah, backseating's fine when I ask a direct question. Otherwise, everybody gets frustrated when there's like a wall of tutorial text or loading screen tips. I know you're trying to be helpful. But. Part of the fun is not knowing what we're doing and having discovery. Okay, so to get over there, wait, where are we going? Is there anything here to discover? There is something over here. Uh, have I found love yet? Yeah, there's a uh, Burger King about less than a mile from my house.
Hmm. Oh, good, another uh, upgrade zone. Thank you, Jenna, for watching. Okay, let's see. We could increase health. Eh. I think we should increase um, water storage. Oh, it's nice that they actually put minerals here. Your daughter loves Spore. You think she'd like this game? Yeah, this is a little more um, like a first per well, third person survival game, but it does have elements of Spore, and it does feel like a survival game, and it feels a it really feels a lot more like Abe's Odyssey or Exodus. If they made a game like this where you got to play as Abe, that'd be badass. Okay, so this is... That one's water capacity. This is food storage. I think we should go with this one. Oh, you gotta hold it. Let's increase our food capacity and... What's the other two? One's life and the other one is... Oh, stamina. Yep. Yep, food storage and stamina. Now we just need to get a creature that can process minerals. I don't know what their upgrades do. I need more so we can process more minerals. But we can always come back to another cave. Upgrade all the minerals in the meantime and then go for upgrade. Upgrades, like come, if you were to keep your squad size to like two or three, have somebody be a mule and then the other ones be like mineral and water processing. Like all you really need is like three of them it seems. Uh oh. Run for the hills boys! Looks like we can rescue somebody in here, too. That's pretty expensive, though. Oh, we have another upgrade down here. Or more hidden mu mutations. Wow, lots of minerals. Ooh, boy. His name is Gru. We only have two for Gru. Uh oh. I need to get a mineral processor. I think it's like one of the strange seeds down here to process minerals.
Yeah, I want to save Gru, but we don't have enough minerals. I need somebody to do mineral processing. We need a specific seed for that. I guess if they quote unquote die, it's more like they just get uploaded to the cloud and we can get them later or find them somewhere else. There's many ways to get these guys. Alright, let's find an easy way to get across here before we go. I guess we'll go to the right and then we'll go straight forward. Oh, looks like there's a bridge here. Alright, perfect. Yeah, everybody's just carrying tons of minerals. I need ways to process them. comes. Pain in the ass. <laughs> what if there's a way to roll faster in the future? It'd be an upgrade for that. We were almost there. So how is it again that we get these guys to process minerals? Like what seed do I need to find for that and where is that seed found? So that way we can get if we can get all the minerals processed, then we won't have to worry about uh then we can we can spend more points and stuff. What's the way to do that? memory? Okay. Yeah, I even upgraded our stamina. easier this time. Okay. Why was it so much easier that time? I guess Rick was just a faster character because of his spring legs. Hot pocket. Uh oh, what the hell is that? Oh, he's, he's what jumping. What was this monstrous creature? Was this one of the cylinder servants? The ones the Elder had warned them of? Its very form terrified the Trevor. 
Even the voice and their memories seemed frightened of it. Uh oh. And then, somehow, the Trebam remembered the creature's name. It was called the Mathematician. Ew, math. Alright, what do we need to break down minerals? Hmm. Wow, it's so cool how many things they've made. I don't know exactly which one we're looking for, though. I want one that's broken down. One thing that can break down minerals. Hmm. Now would be a great time to backseat. Gives us food. Gives you water. Food. Hmm. Like this one, for example, is what you eat to to make water, but it doesn't make that so clear. Springworms have two heads, which they use to extract microscopic organic matter from the ground. Waste is expelled during the worm's characteristic tumbling motion. But it doesn't say that it has anything to do with producing water. This is the one, the, litho, the lith lithotrope mushroom. Capable of using egorganic e compounds as energy sources, despite tremendous evolutionary advantage... The mushroom grows exclusively on Preblum st statues, almost certainly by design to prevent it from spreading uncontrollably. I think they could do a little better job of saying, hey, this is the one to make minerals. Okay, thank you. See, that's helpful. I think we can only find those underground. Oh, now we got to avoid the security drones. Right. This is becoming more and more like Oddworld. Actually, wait a minute. Now that we have the third eye... We can set him to go look for stuff, I think. There we go. Oh, we gotta go look around for it. It might not even be here, so we might have to go to the next area. Although it looks like we have to defeat the mathematician. Oh, okay, he's leaving. The mathematician vanished as quickly as he had appeared. Back to... To what? What lay behind the cylinder? Cool. What's that big dude? Oh, that was just a NBA player. What are these white bouncing balls? Oh, what? It's like a drainage ditch. What the hell? What was this strange groove in the ground? It seemed artificial, like something made to contain water. But all it contained were these large rolling machines. Who had built these things and why? They were not servants of the cylinder, that much was clear. Weird.
Where's our fourth guy? Just magically dead. Uh, sometimes it's such a pain in the neck to keep track of these boys. Paint your heart out, Tony Hawk. Yeah, that only gives us water. Baby cylinders, yeah. There we go. Okay, that should do good. Why right, we're not allowed to leave this area yet because it's red, so we got to go find something. Oh, there's the fourth one. He wants three minerals and six water thingies. Bro, I want to... I'd rather have, like, more upgraded guys than, like, more regular guys. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, I know, but I've realized, too, the billies are good for the algorithm. Man, I think you need more mods. Smiley face. Got another billy in chat. The more they spam, the higher that interaction goes up. They're both... A, they're a necessary evil. The billy can be utilized to harvest and harness its power. Hmm. So I guess maybe we have to go down into that dr drainage ditch? But why? Well, there's certainly a lot of minerals down there. Uh-oh, the car is down there. By that thing. <sighs> there was an egg down there? Oh, okay. Well, at this point, I don't know if I want any more Trebums. I just want more skilled ones. The more we have, the more likely ones to die anyway. It seems to be a good idea, though, in the game to, like, maybe get eight of them upgrade them fully and then switch out ones that you need and then keep a couple for backup doesn't seem like it'd be beneficial to have more unless there's a game mechanic for it yet interesting though okay what do we need to do gotta be something about going down into that pit But why? Oh, there's a Trebum symbol there. That's like a statue. could get so many upgrades down here though. 
Well, that doesn't look like an egg. That's something else. What is that? Legless. With this mutation, ceases to have legs. Can only roll. Jumping is impossible. Great, great mutation. Oh wait, it only lasts a few seconds though. Well, what's the point of that? Pinto, no! Oh, there's one of those things. Hell yeah. Alright, we got one of those mushrooms, boys. Finally. Finally. How come the third eye didn't detect that when we were near here before? Good. Now we can start processing all these minerals. We better keep him alive. Wait, I don't want to go over there yet. Fall back, boys! <laughs> well, at least they take less damage because they're AI controlled, so the game accounts for that. Good, now we're producing more minerals. This is great. But now we need food. Alright, well that was worth coming down here, I guess. The spring legs. There we go. Okay, let's get some food. Now we're processing minerals. This is great. Now we can take advantage of all those minerals we had. don't know what we're looking for exactly, though. Uh, what do minerals do for you? They can be used for upgrade points. And you can buy certain things with them. So the more minerals that we get, we can save up all the minerals and... Um, buy upgrades with them or a few other things, too. And there's certain uh, rocks that we can pick up that give us minerals. And also, this guy here processes water, so... We're also getting water from these as well. Okay, let's do a little inventory check-in. Yeah, Lingu's our uh, mineral guy now. Or Lung Lungu. Oh, it looks like they're processing a lot of minerals. Fantastic. That'll clear up some space for us. Why, right, Gordon, drop those. Oh, you think we need to look for the tree? Uh, maybe. I don't see any tree that looks out of the ordinary yet. That's a weird looking tree. <laughs> I don't think that's the one, though. We're just eating so we can... We don't have to worry about that anymore. Living manufacturing plants? 
Yeah, basically. There we go. All right, food is maxed out. Okay, let's get everybody to drop off minerals now. And some of these guys can even process water. These two will carry the minerals. Okay. journey and start exploring. Oh yeah, now we're generating water from this. Okay, good. I don't know that seems like I would have gotten bored of this game or not liked it by now, but there's something about it that the more I play it now, the, the better it's gotten. Yeah, this guy's basically our water producer, so I'm just getting anything and everything for water production. Let's make room for more of these. Okay, let's go around and figure out where we gotta go. So we're looking for a tree of some sort? Oh, we can rescue this guy. We need minerals and pods. I think we found where we're gonna go, though. I guess we can't rescue everybody because if we get to certain areas and we don't have, like, the, the upgrade to carry more characters, if we don't have the thing to upload to the cloud, as they say, then we can't do it, but... I guess upon a second playthrough, you'd be more tactical knowing where everything is and when to encounter it. Let's check out this wreck, though. This looks cool. Yeah, we could drink from the lake, of course, yeah. But not every area has a lake like that. And that is a giant... Uh oh Is that a street light? Oh, I think we might need to go up there. But first, let's investigate this. These are like... wrecked structures or something. Finally, the weeping trees that the Elder had told them to oh, find this. were within the Trebum's grasp. Oh. Okay. But though the Trebum were happy, they realized that they faced a new challenge. Mm -hmm. The ripe fruit were floating out of reach, and the others were enclosed in a hard shell. They would have to find a way to crack them open. We'd have to find a way to crack these shells open. Hmm. Well, hanging out of reach, that means one thing to me. I think we need to use the horn. Where's our fourth boy? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see if we can knock him down. Or not. Uh, it'd be interesting if we could find something to, like, crack these open with. 
I don't think this map has anything that we could use that would be like heavy and like a heavy cylinder, but not the cylinder itself, something like large and rolling that we could like place it in the middle. Unfortunately, I don't I don't think there's any area we could drop this in order to get it to crack. Oh well, I guess we'll have to turn back. Oops, I accidentally right clicked. Darn, better go pick that seat up again. I would hate for this thing to accidentally roll open. Uh, or that. Okay, who's got the least upgrades? These two are both water boys. Well, what happened to your legs, bro? Let's turn Rick into a whatever this is. Inflatable body. <laughs> Come on, boys. All right, so now we can float. So now we just need to find those pipes with air, and then we can float over the top of the cylinder. But what's over here? Ah, right here. Perfect. All right, let's have lunch before we go, boys. I'm hungry again. Rick will be our uh, all-terrain vehicle slash food truck. He's our all-terrain food truck. All right. Uh-oh. Rick, did you have tacos for lunch? Oh, boy. Oh. Hmm. I guess we're supposed to go down here? I think we have to actually go higher. Unless we can roll up here. Even with the ability to float, overcoming the cylinder would have to be done very carefully. What they needed was a geyser that was well positioned, close to the cylinder, when it lay still. Or their plan would never work. They would have to keep looking. And meanwhile, they would try not to think about what sort of monster could kill one of the flying serpents. Is this guy backseating right now? Okay, so we gotta find a thing close by. Oh, here we go. Bomb, 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 bomb. Let's go up there. Oh, I see. I see. Is this a Katusha? Geysers, in order to float above the eternal cylinder, you must find a geyser that is close to the cylinder when it is, lies dormant. The cylinder will never allow the Treblum to jump over it while it's advancing. Holy crap, we're about to see what's on the other side of the cylinder. I'm actually really curious to know. I'm very excited to know. So we can't jump over it while it's moving, but let's take the Katusha to the other side. I hope. Well, good luck to those other three. <laughs> they just jump off the tower. Eh, that's alright. If they die, we can respawn them. It's fine. Alright, so we gotta get to the tower and then we gotta cross over to see what's on the other side. Hey! Not, not cool, bro. Hey! 
Damn it, what a waste of time that was. Uh, that might that might have to be an auto save load. Yep. Oh, that was BS. Let's try to load that again. So that way we don't get sucked up by whatever creature that was. What a troll. It's like in Fall Guys when you uh, are almost to the end of the map and then the uh, somebody grabs you. You're assuming that grab wasn't scripted? Oh, it's not. Because he won't be here the next time. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go. We gotta find some place to get above the cylinder. Well, that looks like a good place as any. There's probably one of these geysers up in the mountains here. Wow, can we actually get over that thing? I don't see any more geysers, though. I wonder if we can just do it from here. Yeah, we're about to see what's on the other side of the... Uh, take our first look at the other side of the... Uh, eternal cylinder. Oh, wow, we can actually go high enough to go over it. No way. Oh, boy. What the hell is that? Can we touch the cylinder? Yeah, it's just a Walmart parking lot, that's all. I was right. Just a bunch of cracks and nobody here. That's exactly what I thought. There's the mathematician doing math. playing white wish list the game and join the community to gain access to exclusive material that was just a demo ladies and gentlemen whoa crazy math 
All right, guys, make sure you smash that like button. That'll be the end of this uh, demo preview of the Eternal Cylinder. What a big, big demo that is. Pretty cool. I think it's available on the Epic Game Store and anywhere else. Use code Raptori at checkout if you make a purchase on this one, too, by the way. R-A-P-T-O-R-I-A. -A. But this is as far as we get to go for now. I think we're going to come back and play this one with all the lessons learned. I like it. Odd World. A little bit of uh, Spore. A little bit of... Um, feels a little bit like a survival game in a way with the food and the water cool stuff all right guys thanks for joining me i'll be back later today we'll stream something else you guys are amazing thanks as always for the support i wanted to keep on playing but we'll have to figure out what's going on with the mathematician and what lays on the other side of the eternal cylinder you guys are awesome i'll see you very soon for more thanks again for smashing like on the way out subscribe and turn it on the notification bell and we'll see you a little later today for something else see you all soon Bye. All the oh, by the way. Uh music 10 out of 10. <laughs>